I wish they'd call me when they decided to take out my other boat. <laughs> well, hello, YouTube. You just caught me eating lunch during the Cornova virus. Or is it Corona? Cornova? I don't know what the hell it is, but this is a goddamn real thorn in my ass. I'm sitting here having me some polar smoked herring fillets with pepper and natural juice. Yeah, full of omega-3s. Uh-huh. Yep, that's what I'm having. Along with something with omega-nothings. I'm going to show you a little project that I'm doing. And if you get anything out of it, fine and dandy. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you something after I have my polar smoked herring fillets in marinara sauce here or whatever the hell it's called. Pepper sauce. Mm, 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 that sure was good. Let's see, I highly recommend polar smoked herring fillets with pepper and natural juices. That's good enough to make a bulldog break his chain. Come on. Hold on, let me suck down a little PBR. It's just like Facebook, ain't it? Where everybody gets to show you what they're eating. Ooh, look what we had for lunch today. Who gives a shit? Since uh, I got nothing going on, let's call this Coronavirus Monday. I'm doing my spark plug change out here. Got a little help from Dr. Gary up in Long Island. Because I always have to talk to him while I'm doing stuff on the old Suzuki 250. 250. But this applies to about every Zuki. I guess, in the V6 category. All right. When you are changing out, I have to put this cover on here because these squigglies, see these squigglies? They're falling out of these oak trees like snow, and I don't want this crap all in my engine. So I kind of keep this little cover up here. But... When you are doing your V6 Suzuki spark plug change out, here is their spark plugs underneath your coils. This one poses a little bit of a problem. Do you think it does and why? What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the sides off, okay? You're supposed to get rid of this here Tupperware. Well, a lot of us don't. So, what you got to do is you got to come up with a bunch of these. I call them knuckles. I don't know what the hell they're called. Swivel adapters or... I'm not a mechanic, so that's the disclaimer here. So, you got to have these, and I'll tell you right now, you better have more than one because you're going to need it. See, I got one on each end here. So, and an extension. But then, you know, here's your spark plug wrench, your average spark plug wrench right there, or spark plug socket. Mine, the little rubber doohickey inside, decided to pull out and dry rot. So I took the sticky stuff. You can't see it, but it's down in there. The sticky stuff to hold the spark plug in place. And the deal is, these are a piece of cake. All right, if you can't do this, then you don't need to own an outboard motor. How about that? And yes, I've seen videos where there was a guy talking about changing out his spark plugs and he was like a clueless wonder. And he admitted it. That was the wonderful thing about that video. He admitted, I am a clueless wonder. So, this is your coils. You're gonna take this out, this screw, and you just wiggle this back and forth and it comes out. It's got a big long neck on it, reaching all the way in here, okay? Don't unplug it, you don't need to. There's enough slack in the wires here. And do one at a time. I do hardest to easiest. Then I go over here and I do really hard, really hard, the easiest so why did I stop right here to show you this well let me get that coil out of the way all right 
Well, there's old Eddie texting me. I was shooting the breeze with a subscriber. So you got your you got your cowling latching going on here, but we're all too lazy to take this entire crap off. So again, you're going to need some severe knuckles, extensions, and everything to get in there. Now I'll show you what I went and bought. And the only time I can use, well, I can't show you yet. Well, I'll show you here in a second. The only reason you gotta use all them swivels is for the always the bottom, since you're supposed to be taking this cover off. I would say if you got a lot of time and you feel like screwing around, go ahead and take the, take this take these Tupperwares off. It's a pain in the balls, but you know. So here's what it looks like when you take it out. You got this big long coil. There it goes. It goes in that hole. But I just put a spark plug in right there. There is my spark plug socket. So how do you get that out? Because you could take, let me take a extension here. <coughs> Excuse me. If you take your extension and you wiggle and you really just, this thing won't come out. It's like stuck in there, right? Ah, it's stuck in there. Pain, real pain in the butt. So you could grab some pliers and you could do all kinds of stuff, but I'm lucky enough. These were my uncles, and then I believe they were his fathers before then. Look at these. These are damn near like, they almost look handmade, right? And what it is is one of those old kind of pliers. Well, you even see right there where they peen that over. I mean, this was like damn near a handmade tool. And I've got a bunch of old tools like this, and I seriously tre treasure them. But when you squeeze, it opens this up. See? So you're, this is going to be one of those things you're going to run into. So if I go up here, and I squeeze, and I push it into the socket hole. See what I'm doing there? That's when this tool comes really in handy. And you got to do it, get it in there, and kind of pull it out. Squeeze. So you need with some reverse pliers. Or you need more knowledge than me. Okay, maybe I can pull it now. This one's being a real bear, folks. All right, I got another solution. I got another solution. There you go. Look at that. Let me take that in there and stick it. This spark plug wire or socket has a hole in it. Make myself a little hook. Oh, come on, you son of a gun. You gotta pull this out. Come on. All right, you're pissing me off. All right. So, this is what the happy homemaker. There we go. Now, look at that. Buy yourself one of these. I even went and got an extra long socket. And uh, that's a spark plug socket with a new rubber dealy inside, but it's an extra, extra long. And I literally bought it because I saw it had that hole. And that hole is for the little ball bearing to go in. Let me get one. To this to go in. Right? So let me set the camera up one more time. So the reason that's there was for that little ball bearing to snap in there. But that's not strong enough to pull it out on any of my tools. I mean, here's a uh, here's a knuckle. 
still not strong enough when this sucks onto there. So I knew it had that hole and I knew I had my old ancient tool and I knew I might be able to do this and pull it out. So that, I don't know if that's a tip. I don't know if that's a trick. All right, well, I'm showing you one of the easy ones. All right, so this is eight millimeter, eight millimeter right there, these screws that are at the top holding in your coils. All right, you wiggle your coil, it'll come right out. Like I said, this is the easy one. Stick that in there like that. That's why you get an extra long one. out of here. This is an old one. You're going to put the new one in. Put a little, uh, little lube on the threads here. I don't want it going in dry. Turn that on in there. Just snug it up. Even old Dr. Gary told me, he says, just kind of do it by feel. So. Right, just do it. Get those jam washers going in there. Just kind of do it by feel. You're supposed to torque it. So there you go. You can torque it, but I've watched other mechanics. They don't torque it either. You can't get that socket out, right? There's a huge dealy. So, what do we do? Because I got a piece of wire. It's got a hole right there for the ball bearing for the socket. I take a piece of wire, heavy galvanized wire, just like that, all right? I stick it in there. That's the reason I bought this socket in all reality. And you gotta pull it out. So that's how I do it. I use this to go on the, see that ball? That, uh, that's for the ball bearing for the socket. And then you use that to pull it out. So then you're gonna take this and it just fits right over your spark plug. Okay. And then you take your screw. All right, the same as this, same as this, same as down here. And you tighten her up. And these are the NGK plugs. I get mine off of Amazon. They're relatively cheap. And you tighten that up. And that's it. There's changing your plugs. I know you probably want me to show you how you do this one. I'm not going to do it over again. Believe me, you got to have the, ver the different, you got to have the knuckles. You really need to take this off. But if you don't want to, you just swivel this around. Hell, at one point over here, I actually swiveled this around enough to be able to take, let me see, where is it? To take this long uh, extension right here and literally go through there like that. How about that? You see how that latch is? You got your latch, it goes back and forth, right? And I stuck the latch in there and got in, but I think I still use the swivel. I still use the swivel on the end. Here. And then I went, hold on. All right. I went in with my plug socket to a swivel, got all the way in there, and then I stuck it through here and went in to this, to that right there. So you gotta get creative. But if you can't figure this out, let me come over to your house and take your boat away from you. Or if you're just better off than me, you do, you take it to the 
shop and have them do everything. So there you go, that's changing your spark plugs out on Coronavirus Monday. So thanks for stopping by. That's the tips and tricks, multiple knuckles to go right in here, into that, split, into that plug hole, nothing here, nothing here. But when you're fiddle farting around and Harbor Freight or whatever, get yourself a long spark plug socket. And it has to be, for the Suzuki, it's a 5 eighths. All right. There's the V-Power NGK plugs that are for my engine. Bravo, Kilo, Romeo, 6 Echo, Dash, 11. Six of them. And here's the old ones. Not too bad looking. Dr. Gary says they look okay. They look okay. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Out the other side. God dang. Why does Suzuki have to make this engine, Callum? It's so damn heavy. Holy smokes. Why does this thing have to be this heavy, Suzuki? Are you really trying to just fill it full of insulation so you can be quieter than a Honda? Yeah, I know. I know what you're trying to do. <coughs> oh, man. This son of a gun's a goddamn ball buster. So heavy. Take a fork of my ass. I'm done. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do.